out of ideas again again trying to make me start you don't know i'm actually <laughs> craving like don't don't mm -hmm. i love the donuts so much i wish i could just go to cassie's corner and maybe get some he like whatever he he, he was eating <laughs> i'm hungry <laughs> okay well this is the live and five show i'm maya and i'm sean three two one blast off let's head off to the sixth planet furthest from the sun that's right, it's Saturn. But have you ever wondered what Saturn's rings are actually made of? By now in today's Hot Topics. Are you a gamer? Well then, the new season of Apex Legends will brighten your day. More to come in today's Hot Topics. You got a friend in me. What did you say some shame? Um, sure, but there are some new friends just a buzz light year away. Stay tuned for the introduction. All right, so a new season of Apex? Mm-mm. All right, we got NBA, and then some got fined a lot of money and more to come on sports. We've got all this and more right after the break. Did you get the new yearbook? No. You should. Everyone's getting it, plus it's a great way to keep your middle school memories. How much is it? It's only $49. They don't have to sh sell anymore? No, they don't. Uh, and, and we're back. Now it's time to check out what's going on around campus. Hey Trojans, March 27th from 6.30 a.m. to 9 p.m., the Cerritos Chick-fil-A will donate 20% of what they make that day. See you guys there! Our very own PTSA is hosting a family movie night that will take place on April 12th at 6.30 p.m. There will be a snack bar there and it will open at 5 p.m. If you choose to attend, you must have a, parent, a parental chaperone with door tickets and the tickets will be sold pre-sold on March 26th. Again, family movie night will be April 12th. We'll see you there. Get ready for the testing period. We have our math benchmark coming up next Monday. So turn on your math brains Trojans. Again, the math benchmark is coming up next Monday. In our previous videos, we showed you the Cyber Patriot Club. Now, what is it exactly? The Cyber Patriot Club is a cybersecurity group taught by someone from Cypress College. The club will 
teach the basics of how to prevent hacks and how to prevent problems from a faulty system. This is an amazing and fun club full of collaboration and snacks that are provided while you learn. The first meeting is next Thursday after school in room 407. The meetings will start at 2.15 p.m. and end at 4.15 p.m. every Thursday. Today, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter will be showing in the library after school. However, there will be permission slips required to attend. Help CGSF and injured animals by bringing in old mascara wands. It's easy and it's free. The, Appala the Appalachian Wildlife Rehabilitation, a nonprofit organization in Western North Carolina, recycles old mascara wands. The wands are used to help remove fly eggs and larvae from the fur of injured animals. This is a great way to recycle and help out injured and orphan wildlife. Mrs. Lesbo will be collecting the wands in room 405. Again, the wands will be going towards CJSF and injured animals. The wands will be collected until June 1st, so let's help these animals Trojans. And that wraps it up for the Tesla's play-by-play. Relax for a bit, school just started. We'll be back with our hot topics, which will make you say wow. Welcome back. Time to get into today's hot topics. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun. It is 890.8 million miles away from the sun and the length of Saturn's day is 10 hours and 42 minutes long. Saturn's orbital period around the sun is 29 years. Many believe Saturn's rings were never there from the start and may disappear in less than 100 million years. This would happen because gravity is slowly pulling the rings into the planet. The material in Saturn's rings weigh about 40% of its moon known as Mimas. Scientists believe that Saturn's rings might have been formed in less than 100 million years or even less, 10 million years ago. Scientists had to account for deep blowing winds in Saturn's atmosphere in order to get the right measurements. They also determined that Saturn's core is between 15 and 18 times the mass of Earth. And that's just the core. Apex Legends released its first season and its first battle pass. The battle pass consists of three character skins and more than three weapon skins. It also includes, includes different tiers and loot boxes, both epic and legendary. They'll also be adding a brand new legend named Octane. He has the ability to deploy a bounce pad for himself and his teammates. He also has a stim ability where he takes his syringe and powers his robot legs. It gives him a speed boost for a short amount of time. Apex is a free game, but the battle pass requires you to buy $10 worth of Apex tokens. Now it's time for Eli Eats, who will make your stomach grumble with amazingly delicious food. Hey Trojans, I'm here at Eureka Burger, which is right next to where I actually did Afters ice cream a couple of weeks ago. And so this is basically a uh, American uh, food place and they have burgers, they have fries, they have lemonade, they have a lot of other things. And I'm really excited to try this place and let's get into it. So we're here with Gary, the manager of Eureka here at Cerritos, and so I had a couple of questions for you. Sure. And my first question is, what's your most favorite dish here at Eureka and why? My favorite dish would probably be our bone marrow burger. It's, it's something that we, we make from scratch in-house and we roast down the bones, kind of get them going. We scrape the marrow out, add it to like a butter with other herbs, put that atop a patty that also has a roasted tomato and a grilled white onion on it and a, a horseradish Dijon you know, mustard spread and it just hits all senses. It's a very savory, messy, raw burger that is amazing. <laughs> Dish. Our most popular item on the menu is our Brussels sprouts. So we lightly fry some Brussels sprouts, uh, toss them in an orange chili glaze that we make in the house, and we put a little green chimichurri on it and a little and some almonds, and they come out fast and they are amazing. And how, um, how long ago was this location opened? Like, this location opened on September 4th of this past year, 
and it is our 24th location. And um, I know you have the charcoal lemonade here. Was that like really popular to order when like that was a big trend and everyone was getting charcoal? You know? It is. It still is a popular item with us. I mean, people like it. It's basically a scratch lemonade that we make in house, and the color's a little intimidating at first, but once you try it, it just it's just a great lemonade. Yeah, and I heard that you get your ice cream from Afters, which is, I actually did it uh, earlier, and I okay. know they're like right over there. So how did that happen? Our, 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 one of our culinary directors set that up for us, and we will kind of, we, we don't carry the same things they have in-house. I mean, as much as I love Cookie Monster and some other flavors that they have, uh, so every month we submit what we want to do, and in the beginning they would they would give us like six or seven tubs of like more of this ingredient, less of this, and then you know more of this ingredient, less of that, and so we settle on some amazing flavors that we've had. So this is everything that I ordered. I got the most popular dish, which is the Brussels sprouts, and then I got Gary's favorite dish, which is the bone marrow burger, and then it comes with the side of sweet potato fries, but they're um, actually sweet, kind of like sweet potato. The fries are sprinkled with cinnamon and drizzled with honey. And then this is the charcoal lemonade in this nice little container. Okay. So now it's time to try the Brussels sprouts. The Brussels sprouts are kind of sweet in a way. Um, that's the drizzle or the sauce that's over it. And then you have a, more of a crunch on top of the Brussels sprouts already with the nuts. I really like this dish. So this is the bone marrow burger and uh, it has sesame seeds on top and the bone marrow and then everything. It's like he said, it's a little messy, but you know, I'll try it. <laughs> the bone marrow makes it it's a little sweet it's not too much but I feel like it's just the perfect amount and as long as you eat it good you won't get that messy well this is the lemonade and it looks <laughs> it looks kind of like a, a summer glass except it's black and uh, it has this little lemon on it and yeah now it's time to try some lemonade you could kind of taste the charcoal it doesn't add like too much like difference so if you're if you're feeling like it's gonna make it taste different, it really isn't. It, it tastes really good. It's mostly for the looks, I believe, um, but it's still really good. So thank you so much, Rika, for letting me come here. The food was amazing, everything was really good. And if you guys wanna come to Eureka Burger, it's located on 183rd Street in Cerritos. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys next week for the next episode of Eli Eats. Good morning, Pet Stop. I'm Sai. And I'm Shy. Well, it feels almost like an infinity ago when Disney first announced that there will, would be a Toy Story 2. No kidding, right? Well, the new adventures of Buzz and Woody will hit the big, big screen on June 21st with some new friends. Duke Kaboom, a 70s daredevil motorcyclist, Officer Giggle McDimples, a spunky and feisty inspired po police officer, and Gabby Gabby, Ooh. a full stream doll who plays the oh mid crowd and not so proud to be presented villain. I knew she would be a villain, <laughs> but are there any characters that you know that we are be missing? Do you Let have a favorite? Know. Do you have a favorite toy that you want to see? A favorite character that you want to see? Let us on a favorite toy that you want to see in Toy Story. Let us know on our Instagram at TouchLoftCA. Now it's time to tell us what the strings, I mean scores, are in sports. Good morning, children. Welcome to the Zone. I'm Shakir. I'm Kyle. And I'm Reed. So, um, I know this isn't sports related, but what Sean was talking about earlier, Apex Legends, bro. No, no, no. No. They got a makeshift nah, battle nah. pass. They got a makeshift nah. Ragnarok skin. That's tough. All right, for actual sports, March Madness, Duke, Zion Williamson out. Do you think uh, Duke is still going to perform well? Yeah. Yeah? I don't think so, because like, he's been their star player. He's let them uh, do a lot, so. Why do you think they're going to perform well? Well, they still have good players. Yeah, their point guard yeah. is really good. But I feel like it's half and half. They're going to perform good and bad at the 
same time, but we'll see. Going right. over to some other NBA news, uh, player D'Angelo Russell has um, had a dream season right now. He's on the eve of free agency, and he's just been playing really well. Um, the Lakers traded him in order to have extra money uh, to spend on other players, which was like uh, about last year. But yeah, he's just been showing out. And in his last game, uh, when they came back by 28 points, he scored 27 of those points for his team. So yeah. Moving on to more NBA news, Boston Celtics guard Marcus Smart has been fined $50,000 for forcefully shoving Philadelphia 76ers center Joel Embiid to the floor. It was announced last night. $50,000 just for that, though? Yeah. I mean, think if you think about it, like players that make that much money in the NBA, that's just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, that's all the time we have for today. Let's go over to World News. temperatures increase in melt glaciers and snow, Mount Everest expedition operators are finding an increasing amount of climbers' bodies in the snow and ice. Since 1922, more than 200 people have been believed to have lost their lives on the mountain and were believed to have been buried under the ice and snow. Due to this, the bodies are being found and discovered by climbers. Studies have shown that glaciers in the Everest region are melting and thinning rapidly. Scientists are, have found the ice warmer than the annual air temperature. Some of them in higher altitudes serve as landmarks for mountaineers, mostly due to how expensive and dangerous, dangerous it is to remove the bodies, with the removal costing $40,000 to $80,000. One of the most dangerous recoveries at 8,700 meters near the peak. But also, experts say that the decision is a personal one, with some wanting to be left there if they pass. Even if the snow did get like warmer, I'm pretty sure it'd still be cold because Everest is cold. I know. Have you watched no. the movie yeah. Everest? No. Is no. This, that movie was sad. I've not seen it. That movie was sad. Like this they showed is... things like what they did after the um, after they climbed down the mountain, and it's like they put his hands in like boiling hot water. And so so yeah, it was, I'm glad that they're being saved, cold. but do they really want yeah. to? Now it's time to check out today's FYI. What angle has rectangular pupils? Owls, goats, penguins, or lizards? Take five. Goats have rectangular pupils. Now it's time for Did You Know What Tommy? Welcome back, Trojans. Our guest today is William. So, William, what are you going to do today? Uh, I speak Pig Latin. You like to show? Uh, I hate each bay, Ig Latin bay. It's hey, Illy Ray, Easy hey, I hate Earn Lay, and hey, Orthe, Aid Gray. I play Athe? Orme? Okay. I thought you were. I, I thought right now you were speaking uh, English backwards. Oh, nay. Uye ate ive ursve ederle uve ate ute ive akbe. Okay, that's pretty good. Well, where, where'd you learn that? Uh, I learned it in fourth grade. All right, fourth grade. All right, well, that's all the time we have for today, and we'll see everyone back here Monday. <laughs>